Imagine you have a folder like this. It has a boatload of subfolders, each having their own set of subfolders. Terabytes and terabytes of content, and your job is to go through these one by one and separate all the photo files from video files. Well, that's my job. And that's going to be a no for me, dog. You can sit there and manually go through the folders, or you can crack open ChatGPT and tell it, Yo, I want you to take a look at these files and pull out all the photos for me. One quick script, and boom, I just completed hours of work in about one minute. And the best part? I really don't know jack about writing scripts. And that's why I'm making this video. We've all tried ChatGPT, we kind of know how it works and what it does, but the majority of people out there don't realize all the different ways it can make your daily life easier. I'm still learning myself, and the more I use it, the more it opens up the way I think and approach everything in my daily life, including the things I'm able to do on my Mac. So here's 11 ways you can utilize ChatGPT as a Mac user. All real-life examples from my personal daily use. Let's start with a pretty basic one, but this one is huge. Take any feature in any app you've ever used, and it can specifically explain and teach you how that feature works. For example, I want to know what this encoding setting in Apple's compressor does. I'll ask ChatGPT, and it'll give me a detailed breakdown of the feature and what it does. I can ask how to do something in Microsoft Excel, which I'm really terrible at, and it'll walk me through the process and explain how to do it. Or let's say I'm doing 3D rendering in Blender, and I want to know what's the difference between these codecs. No matter how technical or niche question you throw at it, it knows exactly what you're talking about and gives you a detailed explanation. I don't think people understand how freaking huge this is. It's like having a professional instructor with you for free, 24 hours a day, ready to teach you anything you want. If you want to give it a try, here's a fun little challenge for you. Go to your Applications folder and just randomly pick an application. Then, inside that app, find something that you never use and have absolutely no clue about and see if ChatGPT knows what it is. It's crazy how good it works, especially with apps that are not very common. For example, this specific part of the Bright Author app would be a total nightmare to find on Google, but here I can get an accurate answer instantly. The way you can explain the specific thing or use case you're curious about makes this so much more efficient than finding answers on Google. All right, moving on to number two on our list, help with everyday work. I do a lot of video editing, and recently a producer sent me this list of time codes saying these are the timestamps they want to use in the final video. They wanted the video to be around two minutes long, but this seems like a lot for a two-minute video. Instead of trying to figure out what the total time for all these timestamps would be, I can have ChatGPT do it for me. And sure enough, these come out to over five minutes. And if you've ever done video editing, you know editing a five-minute video takes a lot more time than making a two-minute video. So, before spending any time on this, I was able to give my producer a heads up saying that their timestamps can't fit in two minutes. And we'll have to either shave off some footage or budget more time into editing the video. Whatever your daily work involves, I can guarantee there's a way to utilize this. It's shockingly good at translations. Another way I use it, and this is something I do a lot, is writing assistance. Emails to coworkers, LinkedIn messages to hiring managers, writing copy for a website, whatever you want. I'm not a bad writer, but I've learned that if I take text that I wrote and ask ChatGPT to refine it, it always comes out better. You can ask it to make it professional, polite, playful, or really any kind of tone you want. Obviously, I don't use it for every piece of text I write, but when the stakes are high and you want to sound knowledgeable and smart, this can give you a huge advantage. I also like how ChatGPT is pretty good at taking feedback and guidance, so if the first draft of your text doesn't sound exactly like you want, you can ask it to revise and make changes until you're happy with the result. And this can be anything from short text messages, happy birthday wishes, to full-scale blog posts. Another great way to use ChatGPT. You can actually show things to it and ask for advice. I can show it a picture of a cable and it will know exactly what type of cable this is, what it's used for, and whether or not it's compatible with your Mac. I'm amazed how well it can recognize objects and details, even in photos that are slightly dark and blurry. So if you deal with technology, you might have just met your new favorite personal assistant. Think about all the times you've been searching for answers on Google based on model names and numbers, 
if you're lucky enough to know which model version you're dealing with. Now you simply show a photo and get an instant answer. Next up on the list, app suggestions. Besides simple and straightforward app suggestions you'd normally find on Google, you can use this to get recommendations for your specific use case. For example, I asked it, what's a good backup solution for my personal files when I have about eight terabytes of data spread across my Mac and a couple of external hard drives? I've actually done extensive research on this and for cloud backup, I've been using Backblaze because it simply best fits my personal needs. And the funny thing is that's exactly what ChatGPT suggested for cloud backups, which kind of validates that we're on the same page. And it's not just blindly throwing out suggestions, but it actually knew exactly what I needed. Ready for the next one? You've probably come across a situation like this where you're doing something on your Mac and you're faced with some pretty technical terminology that you're not sure about. Ask ChatGPT. And now you know exactly what each of these terms mean. This sort of falls into the same category with the app tutorials, but this can also be hardware-related questions. Which brings me to the next point, help with hardware configurations. I'm a pretty technical guy and know my way around computers, but there are a lot of things I simply have no clue about. For example, I bought a pair of Genelec speakers that connect to an external audio interface, and I just have no idea how to add a subwoofer to my setup and how the wiring for that should work. Initially, I spent a ton of time Googling this question, reading a bunch of posts on discussion boards where people talked about similar setups, but even though the discussion was somewhat related to my question, I never found the answer I was looking for. If you've ever searched for solutions for technical questions, I'm sure you can relate. And that's why I don't Google this stuff anymore. I go straight to ChatGPT. Not only did it give me product recommendations, it gave me a step-by-step -step guide on how the wiring will work with my specific setup. Let's do another, but a little more challenging. I know this media agency who wanted to start making their own podcast with a mixture of a multi-camera setup in their studio and a remote guest who gets interviewed over Zoom. This requires a pretty complex setup, so they ended up hiring a consultant who charged something like $500 per hour to create a customized plan for their project and then set it up for them. With a little bit of patience and willingness to learn, you can do this alone with the help of ChatGPT. Again, it's like having a professional consultant helping you with anything you want, anytime you need it. I'm not sure what category this next one falls under, but ChatGPT can be a great help with the regular housekeeping items on your computer. A common scenario is when people are struggling with system data, taking up too much space on their computer. They're able to locate the files and folders that are taking up too much space, but you're looking at some pretty unusual files and you're not sure if it's safe to delete them. Don't worry, my friend. ChatGPT will know exactly what these files are and whether they're safe to delete or not. Outside of housekeeping and help with your files, it can also be great at tech support, including hardware-related questions. A few weeks ago, I urgently needed to print something, but sure enough, the ink on my old printer was completely dry. I was already mentally prepared to run to the store to buy a new ink cartridge, but I figured I'd ask ChatGPT if it knows any tricks before I hit the road. It gave me a genius idea to soak up my ink cartridge in warm water, and to my surprise, 10 minutes later I had perfectly printed documents. If you want to take it up a notch, ChatGPT is great for learning how to use Terminal on your Mac. Terminal really opens up another dimension on your Mac, giving you access to tools and features that aren't otherwise available. But for most people, it's nearly impossible to use because for everything in Terminal, you need to know the right commands. ChatGPT can teach you some basic commands. Or if you want to challenge yourself, you can ask it to teach you some more advanced options as well. One slightly more advanced Terminal command I've used recently is this command to schedule my Mac to sleep at the same time every day. This used to be a basic feature in every Mac, but Apple removed it from the latest versions of Mac OS. Just because it's missing from your system settings doesn't mean the capability isn't there. So with the right terminal knowledge, you can pop the hood, grab a wrench, and make your Mac do exactly what you want. For this particular command, I have a full tutorial on my channel. And now that we're in the advanced territory, let's talk about coding and writing automated scripts. Like I showed you in the beginning of the video, I've been able to automate some repetitive, time-consuming tasks even though I have zero knowledge when it comes to writing scripts. 
This started when I got frustrated by a few boring and time-consuming tasks I had to do at my job on a regular basis. I knew there's a way to automate it, but I didn't know how. So I hit up ChatGPT and started chipping away. After some trial and error, I learned a shell script is a good way to do this, and then I'd simply explain what I'm looking to do. I will say, the better you're able to describe your goal in your prompts, the better ChatGPT will be able to help you. The code you're getting might not always work on the first time, but ChatGPT is really good at debugging, meaning you can tell it your script didn't work, show what kind of errors you're getting, and it will make changes and rewrite the code until it works. In this case, it gave me a script which I would copy-paste into a text document and convert it to plain text. Then, I'd save that document and run it through Terminal with the chmod command, which makes it executable. And by the way, all these basic steps about creating and running scripts, I learned them from ChatGPT when I was trying this for the first time. So don't be intimidated. It will walk you through the process. With that, I'm able to simply drag and drop this saved script into my terminal window, followed by dragging and dropping in the folder that I'm currently working on. And with that, my Mac will automatically sort through a folder with hundreds of files, copying all the still images to a separate folder, which was my goal. When you're dealing with terabytes and terabytes of content, with hundreds of subfolders scattered all over the place. I can't explain how insanely valuable this is. This is just one example of what you can do with scripts, and only the sky is the limit if you really want to get creative with it. If I can do this with zero experience with code and scripts, then anyone can do it. Anyways, there's a handful of real-life examples on how to use ChatGPT on your Mac. I'm hoping you learned something new. Slap the like button on your way out, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.